switched the attire yesterday to shorts and shirts, so hopefully those of you who took advantage of that are happy. The weather turned out to be pretty awesome. Um, we have so many people to thank. Usually when we do these events, I make a whole long list of people to thank. And at the beginning of the event, I say, you know what, I'm going to leave someone out, I'm going to forget. And then so I just thank everyone generally not to offend anyone. But tonight I'm going to give it a go, and I'm sure I will miss lots of people. But for starters, most importantly, and I don't see very well, but um, any of our staff that's around, if, any, if our staff can just raise their hands because... animal caregivers and our other staff who uh, braved the heat to come here tonight, they brave the heat every single day to keep our animals comfortable and hydrated and safe and it is the hardest work you can imagine and they really truly are incredible people and we're grateful to all of them. Um, I also want to thank our amazing board members who are here. If our board members can just uh, raise their hands. Thank you to and thank you to Colleen, our gala chair for the last two years, who is one of our board members. Yeah. Thank you, uh, and thank you to the Jonah Smith band who yeah. rock my world every time I hear them play. Thank you, Jonah. Um, every year at the gala, this is only our third time doing this, our third gala, but every year. We honor someone uh, with our Tamerlane Trailblazer for the Animals Award. And it would be helpful if we had the award. <laughs> Deborah, this is, I think, at least the second, if not the third year that we started without the award, and Gabrielle had to run and get the award, but that's cool. No big deal. So every year we try to honor someone who has gone above and beyond for the animals. And our honoree this year is a guy, you want to talk about no-brainers, obvious picks. Uh, the guy that we're honoring tonight is the real deal, as real deal as real deal gets. Um, he is a guy who I met just when we were starting the sanctuary. And he has been the most incredible sounding board, an incredible friend and volunteer and fundraiser an advocate for the sanctuary. He's much younger than me and much better looking. Um, and yet, I've always looked at this guy as a vegan animal rights older brother. Um, just as we were starting to rescue animals, uh, this guy had a lot of experience and I told many people this, but for him, but for his support and his insight, um, I don't think that I would have done this. Gabrielle probably would have, but uh, anyway. Um, yeah. This guy has uh, his roots in the animal rights movement dating back to the early 90s when as a teenager growing up in Syracuse going to hardcore music shows, people were tabling about animal rights related issues. For those of you that don't know, Syracuse was a mecca for the animal rights punk rock hardcore movement back in the the early 90s, and um, this guy has stayed true to the cause ever since, um, from his early grassroots activism to his being a crew member for Sea Shepherd, um, saving the whales in Antarctica, uh, from creating our favorite restaurant, the vegan food mecca of central New York known as Strong Hearts. Um, it's amazing that he made it down here for this event because they're opening a new location. He's been working around the clock. They're opening a new location in the best city, my home away from home, Buffalo, New York. So we're very excited to have a show of arts in Buffalo starting on Monday. Um, I could go on and on. Uh, the most important thing that I'm going to tell you about this guy is that He's done it all. Oh, I have to mention the Strong Hearts Vegan Running Team, which is how we met. He put together a team of runners that a bunch of people here are on. 